Okay, listen, let's be honest here. YouTube subscribers are very hard to grow. And there's a reason why unsubscribe, subscribe, doesn't exist. We all wanna be a YouTuber, we all wanna be an influencer. It pays the bills well and it's actually quite fun. But nowhere in this video I'm gonna make it sound easy or overnight. If that was your intention, you can click off this video. This is for people who are seriously building brands and wanna influence actual people. Don't worry, it's not gonna be scary. It's gonna be step by step. And you can tell your mom that you quit your job for YouTube. And I'm not a schemey person to say post consistent content, but we're gonna make a legitimate plan for you. And I hope this is helpful. All you gotta do, if you wanna know how to grow your YouTube channel, starting really small, keep on watching. Uh, I give them love and they run away. Fly to Paris, don't wanna see. All right, good night guys. I'll see you guys in the morning. I love you so much. Make sure you're channel, you're subscribed. Oh, only at 100 subscribers. It's okay, tomorrow's gonna be better. <gasps> oh come on what's up Dharma Nation welcome to today's video you guys know that I'm not about the BS life so we're gonna jump into the video just want to say congrats to the comment winner shout out to the comment winner Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you want to be the next comment winner, I want to know how long you've been doing YouTube. If you have a channel, what is the biggest roadblock you faced? What's your biggest problem? Just comment below so I can help you guys out. So when starting your channel from zero, from scratch, it's really important to just be real with yourself because the one of the things you don't have to leverage off of getting subscribers, whatever you want to grow your audience is you don't have social proof. So you're gonna be missing a huge aspect of like the elements of trust, right? Because when, some <laughs> when someone subscribes to you, they trust you with all their clicking abilities. So it's super important to understand that you're gonna be missing a huge pillar uh, just because you're starting from zero. It doesn't mean if you're qualified, it just means like we have to replace it with something really strong. So whether you're a music artist that's trying to grow your fan base, whether you are a content creator doing photography, trying to grow some more clients, and or you're just doing YouTube for fun as a vlogger, and you just wanna make some money with YouTube AdSense. Like, these are all valid reasons, but it comes down to four things. I want you to sit in your chair, grab a snack, do whatever it takes for you to pay attention, because I wanna know, when you think about YouTube subscribers or growing a channel, do you think about growing views and subscribers first, or do you think about your watch time and your audience retainment? Probably well, listen here guys uh, your traffic sources or your watch time is so much more important because that will tell YouTube whether to push your video or not and what I mean push is you just want to be friends with the YouTube algorithm which decides whether to recommend your video or to put it on you know trending and all that that's how you get in front of the audience you want to reach so you need to focus on those two things and stop setting goals that are not obtainable. For example, 100,000 subscribers. Like if you're starting from scratch, focus on what actually works, which is watch time. Focus on your traffic sources and we're gonna help you increase those two things. If you haven't already, make sure you like this video and hit the red subscribe button. It's gonna truly mean the world to me and I just really appreciate it. You can join the best fam squad on earth if you do so. Oh, and then I say I post videos here every single day. So like, get your free and just subscribe. So I am not a film writer, I'm not a producer, but I have learned a few things that revolve around Hollywood and production, you know, over a few friends that are in the industry. And it just makes sense, guys. If you're going into creating a piece of content, it needs to be good. Um, I don't think you understand when you're starting from zero, you're depending on either talent and or hard work. If you have neither, it'll be harder to grow. So I know not everyone's a film director, but if you can honestly get expertise from someone that can actually design a video that can help you, it will tremendously grow your business. Because ideally, you need to have beginning, middle, and end. But let me break it down because your watch time will contribute to the fact that you're gonna be a recommended video because that is my entire growth on this channel. A lot of people think, oh Jay, you just got lucky. Like, no, it's my watch time. It's my audience retainment. And there's a few elements that I use and tricks that I use to make sure it's up and high and I wanna share with you guys. The first tip is the hook. Make sure your hook is compelling as frick. Whether you have to do some clickbait to get them there. You know, we're gonna talk about the meat 
of the video, like the, the video itself, okay? Because ideally, the click gets you the view, the view gets you the watch time, the watch time will determine your subscriber count, got it? At the end of this video, I'll link a playlist just about YouTube growth if you wanna learn more about titles, thumbnails, all that jazz. But for content, you need a hook. Whether it's gonna be a five second teaser of a funny part that the video is about, whether it's a 30 second intro and how you can help them. Don't be full of fluffiness and be like, hey guys, welcome, like no. Jump to what actually matters so you can increase your watch time as high as possible. I'm not a film producer. I'm not even Emma Stone. Like I don't know anything about uh, movies, but I do know that a trailer really helps get the people engaged to watch the full movie. You need to stir emotion. So I know some of you guys are like, what the heck Jane? I'm not a creator like that. Like, this is something you can do slightly embedded into your talking, whether you can talk with more emotion, whether you're doing a vlog and there can actually be a fake scenario you can make. Like, it's all about storytelling. You need to tell a story. I'm not a film producer, but I do know there's so much importance in getting people to stay to the beginning, middle, then end. If there's not a tension part where there's a problem or you're able to overcome a failure or fear, it's not gonna be easy to get everyone to go to the resolution. This is why people don't walk outside the movie theater when the movie's playing because they're so like compelled, like it's their intention because they have a beginning, middle, end. Unless the movie was shitty and they're gonna walk away. I don't know why I was just thinking about movies, but you can treat it as a production like this. The biggest thing is you need a strong call to action. You wanna refer people to the next video. When you're starting from scratch, listen here, okay? You can only rely on a few things. You and your work. So you have to put in daily videos. And I'm not saying daily like a, yay, like daily videos, like go, like no. It's not gonna be like you're gonna grow because you're doing daily videos. What's gonna happen is I recommend as many pieces of content as possible because to grow a YouTube channel is not like you post a video every day and it's gonna grow really great. Like that's BS. I mean, that can happen if you're like timings there, lucky, like good for you. But a lot of people aren't as lucky or maybe they're not, you know, used to everything. But daily videos is gonna do is ensure you that at least one project in the entire year will stick through, AKA go viral, AKA hit the recommended page. Because if you only do once a week, I always say this to my coaching call students, I teach a lot of people how to go on social media one-on-one -on -one, and they're like Jade I'm doing once a week videos and if you do the math which I dropped out of school So I can't even do math, but like that's like 48 times in the year So you only have 48 chances to have a video stick through whereas if you do every day you have 365 days Yeah, that's pretty good. So that's my biggest thing for small channels if you don't have money for ads if you don't have money for a nice camera, nowhere did I say you need all this. It will speed up the process, but you can milk the audience you have. Milk it until you can milk no more. What I'm saying is post every day, engage, like, comment. There's so much hustling when you have nothing. That's what I did for the first seven years of this channel. You never saw the milking process. I will actually include my first video ever. It's super embarrassing. It just took a lot of time to get at this point and everyone doesn't want to see like the hard work behind this channel. So I'll just include a little video. Hey guys, um, the reason the reason why I haven't uh, recently updated my videos is because I have a new YouTube account. Uh, I'll tell you the behind the story of why I have a new YouTube account. Yeah, that was really embarrassing and I was also looking and a lot of people asked me how I grew my channel. It wasn't like a jump. It was, if you guys look, my analytics are, you know, averaging close to 300, 400 sometimes. I don't have secret sauce. It was timing, it was SEO, it was keywords. It was a co combination of every single thing I could do. And it helps that I just like talking a lot. Content is king, yay. But there is strategy behind this, I'm telling you, because to get your audience retention up is through the beginning, middle, end. I put the analogy of a movie theater. If you guys want more so concrete stuff, you guys know, I don't like being fluffy. I have some concrete stuff. Ow, my hand. I have some real like tactical advice. Link it right here. All you gotta do is click this playlist. It's going to direct you to my exclusive one-on-one -on -one training of how to grow a YouTube channel. So you just click that, it's free. Everything on this channel is free. If you wanna take your channel more seriously and you wanna personalize coaching call for me, I have all my links below. Um, I never push anyone to do that. I just thought I'd let you know. I have a lot of people that I talk to that are complaining and sitting down that they can't post more videos. If you can't hire someone to do it for you. Okay, that's all I have to say for today. There's just so many elements you have to do all at once. If it's overwhelming, focus on content first, then do marketing. Growing a YouTube channel incorporates three things, okay? It's just, are you branding well? Does your name come across everything? Are you consistent? Is your content good? Are you actually talented? Do you make sense when you talk? And the third thing 
is distribution. You need to distribute everywhere. Are you DMing people? Are you in FB groups to promote your video? Are you placing ads? Are you trying to message little kids on to watch your video? Making your mom watch it, your dad, your sister, your dog, anyone you can possibly distribute it to, do that in the first few hundred subscribers are the most painful, trust me, it's so painful, um, sitting there waking up with nothing, but you need to be patient. Give yourself 12 to 36 months, not 36 weeks, okay? Okay. And stop complaining, okay? YouTube's a full-time job. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Again, if you're a part of the Dharma Nation, thank you so, so much. If not, I would really highly recommend to check out this playlist. I'll link it here, exclusive, just for this video. It's all about tactical YouTube growth advice, starting really small. It's truly hard. Think about value. Think about how you can help people and distribute it like crazy. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you all so, so much, and hope you have an amazing day. Mwah.